Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, Yonex review. 100th though, new 100th though. One, one of the 100s or the only 100 that I probably never played with. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so before I get going, let me take a slug here. You know, I got my coffee today at the, the Golden Arches here because my kid wanted some Space Jam toy. Uh, so, you know, I sacrificed my coffee for coffee, you know, whatever. Anyways, but um, something I noticed this year, the Olympics, not sponsored by McDonald's this year because they're usually... Um, I think they were usually a worldwide sponsor of McDonald's. You know, they would have like a McDonald's station in the Olympic Village serving up the, you know, that unhealthy but delicious food to the um, athletes. But don't see a sponsorship this year. Right, guys? I just noticed that. Well, anyways, talking about um, uh, not unhealthy, but good for you. V-Core Pro 100. So I'm, this is kind of one of the lesser known V course um, that I usually don't play with or promote, but um, surprisingly, they sent me one to try. So, you know, might as well give it a shot, right? So let's check out the vitals of this. Again, Flexcon system in the throat, VDM still in the handle. That signature isometric design, uh, flex force for more ball pocketing, and flex fuse for softer feel. So let's look at the vitals, because I don't really study this racket that much. I know of it. Um, 100 square inches, 10.6, 27, pretty standard, 23, constant beam here, constant beam, a little thicker than the uh, 97s, 320. Uh, balance point 16 by 19. So my guess is this is similar to like a Wilson Pro Staff 100 V13. Um, it's probably going to have nice control knowing that it's in the V Core Pro line. Most people know the 97s. Um, so this is going to be a, this is not an addition to it. It's been in the line for a while. So again, like the other, like the 97s, it's got kind of that retro look to it. Um, I know they made a racket that looked just like this, but in gloss, this is a matte finish. Uh, V-Core Pro 100, as you can see right there. So we we got this a couple of days ago and uh, we already strung it up um, with the Polytor Rev 125 in the purple that kind of matches up with this rocket really well. All right, so we're gonna see if I can find some coaches and uh, see if we can all test it out together. Stay tuned. All right guys, so on the court, got my man Goo, got my man Coach Rob, and we got the Yonex V-Core Pro 100 with us on the court. Stay tuned for the review. Core Pro 100 by Yonix. Coach Goo. Uh, overall, generally surprised with this racket. Um, it's lighter. It's the lightest one out of the family. Um, overall, it was pretty balanced throughout the whole racket, which is shocking to me. This reminds me of the Pro Staff 100 that came out. 
Um, definitely not the same feel as it, but for its Yonex version, it's not a bad racket. It plows through really well. It hits, it has the stability to hit through. Uh, I can go around easy around the corners, um, but overall, great feel overall for a hundred, like for a hundred square inch of racket. All right, hundred square inches, Coach Rob. Um, I was surprised. Uh, I kind of like this one, as Harry said. It felt a little bit like the Pro Staff 100. Um, it had uh, pretty good pocketing. Sweet spot felt good. Uh, weight of it was nice, and. Uh, I enjoy hitting with it. I don't usually like this head shape, but um, felt pretty good. Like the uh, balance of it. All right, Coach Rob is a. I guess this is a good teaching racket. Right. right? Yeah. Good feeding racket, right. teaching racket. Not too heavy. At ten point six, um, it's actually a good all-around racket. So if you're looking for a control racket, that's ten point six. That's not as powerful as some of the other ones that. Yonex makes, uh, this would definitely be the one. It would be very, very comparable to a Pro Staff 100. So if you guys are looking for that extra couple square inches, extra little more power, extra little more feel with the Yonex quality, this is definitely the one you guys should consider. I've never actually played with 100 um, v Corp before. I know it's been in the line, but I've never tested it as did these guys. These guys is the first time playing with the player stick of the V Corp Pro in a hundred. So first time we've only messed with the 97s. So, but pleasantly surprised by this hundred square inch stick. All right. So if you guys are in the market controlled 100, give this one a try. Coach Koo, where can we find you? You can find me at agu.tennis. I'll also be posting content there as well. All right. So real quick before I uh, do something. Polytor Rev. That's what's on here. Excuse me. Sorry. Polytor Rev 125 is in here in the new purple. Uh, is, is what's catapulting the ball back from this racket. Okay. Coach Rob's going to say goodbye now. Goodbye. All right, no social media for my man here. All right, guys, so back at the shop uh, with the V-Core Pro 100. You know, we've never really done a full test on uh, the old 100 before, but just looking at the vitals here, um, it looks like from my research that they thickened it up right here um, in the beam by two millimeters because the old version from what I've uh, researched is 21 millimeters. So definitely, uh, you know, thicker here. They've elongated the throat, which means they made this part longer uh, by about half an inch. So more flex here, more stiffness here by thickening this up. So, that actually stabilized this racket a lot. So just like what Stan's doing, right? That's thinking on Yonex's part. So uh, we enjoyed this racket a lot. And uh, we suggest this for people who want a little bit of power, uh, but want a lot of control uh, in a frame that's 100 square inches, right? So uh, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. We are on the court now. <laughs> Sorry, you're out of breath. I can't We're do it. We are on the court 